Hi there, Cycle Enthusiasts! My name is Vasily Fomichev, and in this video, I'd like to introduce you to the new module that James Coleman, Vlad Lukashevich, and I built for Cycle Hackathon 2016. We're very excited about this project as we see it having a lot of growth potential even beyond this contest. As you've already guessed, it has to do with Slack. For those of you unfamiliar with Slack, it's a communication platform. It's a rapidly growing communication tool that's gaining popularity across multiple companies because of its ease of use, functionality, and a lot of integrations. So since everyone is switching over to Slack, we figured, well, why not connect Sitecore to it? And that's how Slack for Sitecore module was born. Slack for Sitecore allows you to post Sitecore events to your Slack channels. You have the ability to specify what channels you want those notifications to be posted to and modify the types of notifications you'd like to receive in each channel. So let's take a look at how to set that up. So first thing you want to do is make sure that you have the admin level access to your Slack team. And if you do, go ahead and log in to api.slack.com forward slash web and log in with your account. Once logged in, scroll all the way down to the authentication section where you'll see a list of teams that you're an admin user of. Go ahead and click the create token button for the team that you'd like to enable the integration for, which will give you the token. Go ahead and save that for later use. Next step is to install the module. You can download the module from the Cycle Marketplace. And once installed, go ahead and navigate to the content editor to the system section. In the system section, under modules, you'll notice a new Slack item. This is where all the configuration for the module happens. First thing you'd like to do is to make sure that the authentication is properly configured. For that, navigate to the team context and click on the default team context item. Now you can rename it to whatever fits, uh, fits your team name. But what we really want to focus on is the username that will be used to post to the Slack channels and then also the token. So make sure to update the token with the one that we generated for your team and save the item. Once it's saved, we want to go ahead and test our authentication. For this, go ahead and click on the Review tab and uh, click the Test Team Auth button. What this will do is it will post a test notification to the general Slack channel of the team that you've set up. And here it is. Hello from Cycle Hackathon 2016. So now that we know that the authentication works, it's time to configure the settings for our channels. So by default, the, Psych, uh, the Slack module comes with two channels, and for those, uh, for those of you familiar with Slack, you'll recognize these as the two default uh, Slack channels that come with the default Slack setup. So general and random. Under the events, we have a list of all of the events that are available for being posted to the Slack channels. So there's nothing to configure here in this section, just make sure to get familiar with everything that's available for you. The, most of, uh, the bulk of the configuration happens under the publication section. And this is where we're tying our authentication under the team context, the channels with the types of notifications that we'd like to be posted to them. So this is where we would select the uh, type of authentication that we want to use. Now, again, we can configure multiple tokens for multiple teams. We choose channels to post our messages to. And then again, we choose the events uh, to be posted to those channels. At the very bottom, we have a default message that you can specify to be posted with every notification to that channel or the channels configured here. Once it's all set, uh, set go ahead and save the item and you're good to go. Go ahead and uh, try a couple publishes, try item creation movement, and you'll see notifications coming through to your Slack channel. And in the end, we'd like to thank all the organizers of Sitecore Hackathon 2016, the judges, and the other participants. We hope you enjoyed the module, and have fun and slack on. <laughs>